Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back, I've been off for about two weeks, but I'm alive, I'm well, well and good again. I've just put a load out for the main cows and the dry cows. So I've just finished them, just put the class away, turned the electrics off, stuff like that. Getting in the money to now, and uh, we've got quite an exciting day today, I can't deny. We've got two muck spreaders going. So there was, in fact, let me wander around here. There was, I've just dropped my phone. Um, a field that we needed to cut because he's going to plough it up and put whole crop in, I believe. Um, so that was mowed yesterday. It's 15th of May today. So with the weather we've had, that's quite early to mow and it was quite wet. A uh, fair bit of stuff on it though. Quite surprising really. Um, so that was picked up. They're going with muck spreaders now. Uh, just getting it done, ready to be ploughed. And um, yeah. quite climbing to here. I've just come in here to sit and uh, thought I'd maybe explain where I've been the past two weeks. So yeah, bit of news. Um, so the first weekend that I missed the farm, obviously I couldn't film because uh, I've not been at the farm. So the first weekend I was away on a mini holiday for mum's birthday up by maybe seeing the Instagram post near Rickaby's. Um, Anik, I think it was. Aye, Anik. Um, just up that way. Um, quite nice. Very nice, actually. Uh, a bit wet, but we had a good time. And then the past weekend, I was off with kind of like dizziness, stuff like that. So they think I've had an ear infection. Um, and then that later turned into kind of mm, a bit of anxiety around getting dizziness and stuff like that. So mini panic attacks kind of things like that. So that's why I've been off, missed a few days of school as well, but I'm back, I'm uh, I'm getting on. The best thing to do is just get on with it and uh, hope for the best, really. Well, I say hope for the best, no. I'm getting better, really, I'm getting better. Um, getting more used to normal life. Well, obviously with COVID still, but uh, if you know what I mean, it's that's what's happened anyways. That's why I've been gone and obviously uh, not been active on the Instagram either. But it's it's nice to be back. Nice to be back in the Puma as well. Um, TM over there. John Deere there. Forager there. You know, this is the best place to be. It smells like fresh grass in here. Because um, like I said, we've picked up the 20 acre field, which is sheeted over. But it still smells like fresh grass. And I uh, love the farm so much. So that's the muck spreading done that they were it's the day after I was filming yesterday. I didn't get too many clips. Obviously, uh still a bit of dizziness there. Try to uh focus on uh staying okay and then I helped them in the parlour and stuff, helped them bed up, so that's uh that's why I didn't film too much yesterday. Um but today um they've finished the muck spreading. Um day off for them today, I think, then they'll be back tomorrow maybe with the plough ready to plough up that field, get it all drilled with whole crop and uh, well I think it's wheat they're putting in actually um, and then that should be ready maybe to harvest September kind of time maybe August actually, end of August I think um, that's what it was last year if you remember that it was a good time um, yeah that's what's going on with that field what else is going on um, I'm not sure what else is going on really I'm just taking a walk up to the top field that I muck spread the 
Uh, maybe it was... I was going to say a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was about a month ago now with uh, muck. Um, obviously it's been reseeded with whole crop. Um, I missed it all obviously with being off, so I haven't seen it in about... Yeah, maybe about a month I think. Um, so we're just walking up the lawn in here. Um, this is the lawn in that we come up when we're leading muck as well with the uh, yellow trailer. It's really shot up in the past kind of... Uh, couple weeks obviously it's had a lot of rain it's ready to cut, uh, ready to cut now it just needs the weather uh, to brighten up dry the ground up a little bit because obviously the ground is still quite wet and uh, then we'll be able to bring it in but yeah it looks like a decent crop I would even go as far as saying it's better than the crop we had last year um, but obviously that was at the start of spring there was no rain uh, to soak fertilizer in and stuff like that so actually saying that we had one day of rain I think and it was the day we wanted to mow last year so uh that went quite well that field up there that's the one that they've uh, been spreading oh it looks like he's marked it out with the plow i don't think the plow's here though maybe not maybe just my eyes um but that field there is about to be plowed up i think um then that'll be seeded um so yeah just um, I, wouldn't, I think they've said the uh the crops come through on this whole crop field, just want to come and see how well it's doing, then there's the whole crop fields down the road as well um, I haven't I don't think I've ever showed them on here before um, no I didn't I didn't film picking them up last year I, I don't know, he might have put them in as grass actually I don't think he has, but there was talk of it last year um, maybe next year he's putting them in as grass what he kind of does is rotates the field round so I think he put certain amount of field on whole crop for five years, is it? I think it's five years. And then they'll go back in his grass and he'll plow, plow a grass field up and put that in his whole crop for five years. Kind of rotate it round like that. Um, so this field up here, that was um, grass the year before last. Um, you'll maybe have seen it actually on my YouTube videos. Yeah, the lockdown videos last year, uh, March kind of time, I went up to roll it, had some roots in from being slurried, um, didn't really matter about putting roots in it, so it was, I say it had the uh, tractors on it in the worst of weather, because obviously it was being ploughed up, so it didn't matter, yeah, and then it was the field that I slurried as well, so yeah, that was in his grass, and then he grazed it off, and then ploughed it up, rather than mowing it, uh, so this is where the muck was that I was spreading as well. So that's just now waiting for the ground to dry out. Um, seems to be a bit of a thing in this bottom corner of the camera. I've got a screen protector on the lens and it's, uh, it's a bit scratchy. I think that's what that is. So I'll maybe have to take it off. Uh, but yeah, this is just waiting for the uh, ground to dry out really. And obviously there's been no, well, no sun. So it hasn't dried out uh, yet but should look uh, back to normal when it's dried out again. Hopefully, anyways, that field's got a fairly good crop of grass on as well. That was not a nice field to roll. It's, uh, it's a wet field, that one in there. There's like a bit of the field at the bottom. There's a row of trees and then it dips down into another bit of the field. Always soaking wet. Uh, I think it was that wet that I actually left a section of it uh, unrolled. Be all right though better than uh, making a mess in there. Anyway, this field's just up here. I mean, bother opening the gate, I'll just climb it. Always climb at the uh, bolt end so you don't bend the bolts and the hinges, I should say, not the bolts. Oh, this is where I lost my CB aerial. I don't think I said on the uh, muck spreading video, but I was muck spreading, I was coming up here and the uh, aerials on the class, they, they get a bit of a swing on when you go over a bump and it must have just flung out and landed right in there, I found it I don't know how because it looked exactly like a, a tall blade of grass uh, looked a bit like that ooh, nettles are out <laughs> it's nice to see that all the trees are starting to get new leaves and stuff like that as well I suppose we are getting into mid to late spring now, I'm not sure what the first day, I feel like the first day of summer is the 21st of June. Don't know why, maybe it's not actually. 
Um, no, it's not. I don't think that's that's when it stops getting light. That's also when um, COVID should hopefully be over. Didn't know what I was going to say then, but this is the uh, Holcroft field. As you can see, it has germinated. It has come through quite well, actually. You can see uh, tram lines there. So when they drill it, they leave. You can do something on the drill where you don't know exactly what it does, but it leaves a section out. Um, and you do that twice. It leaves the width of the tractor tires. And then when you want to come in and spray it with fertilizer and stuff, or herbicide, whatever you want to spray on it, you're not damaging your crops that you've planted. So that's what the tram lines are. Uh, just those two trailer tracks there, really. Uh, but yeah, it's come through really well. So in about September, uh, September kind of time, late August, like I said, um, this will all be whole crop. This is the field I filmed. I've seen whole crop in last year, actually. Um, so it should hopefully come through quite nicely. It shot up really quickly. It's weird because when you look over it like this, it all looks green, but then when you get on top of it, kind of looks uh, not as green. It's going quite well, actually. I'm impressed. I didn't know if it would have germinated yet, but it has. Just wander down the side of the fields here. Oh. So this down here was a bit of a wet spot when I was rolling in this grass field here. Uh, it seems to have dried up quite nicely, even though we have had a lot of rain actually. Uh, looks to have dried up really nicely. And blue skies coming out, I can hear sheep over there. I'll tell you what I've seen when I was muck spreading, there was a nice Fiat 11090 up there I think. I think it was actually New Holland colours though, it wasn't uh, Fiat colours. So yeah, you can see this is wet still. The thing about wet spots is they'll always be wet, always. Never dry, um, obviously there's not as much grass in that bit. We'll maybe manage to mow it though, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's because the water all gathers in this bottom bit. Well, I'll end today's video here, so thank you all for watching. I'll uh, see you all in the next one.